All right, so this video is just to kind of demonstrate um, some of the issues that we encounter in the home and um, how we go about addressing them. Um, so essentially this is how a home works. Forgive the, the artwork here, but um, your air conditioning unit either sits inside of the attic um, with a ground unit or it sits up on top of the roof. And just for this particular demonstration, I'm just uh, putting it up on top of the roof. So what happens is your air conditioning unit, it creates air at 55 degrees and it sends it down inside of the attic and it, it goes through what's called a mixing box. And that just distributes it out to the different registers in the home. And then that air then uh, mixes in with all the other warm air that already exists inside of the home. And so between the two of those, um, you know, that's, that's where you end up people uh, typically, you know, they're trying to get their home around 80 degrees, maybe 78 degrees, somewhere in that range anyway. And so it's that 55 degree air coming through that's designed to mix with that warmer air inside of the house and then and then achieve the, com the comfort level of the homeowner. But in Arizona, it doesn't always work that way. Um, unfortunately, you know, it's, it's, let's say 110 outside, you know, it's well over 100 degrees for a good portion of the the summer um, and so that's a lot of cooling months that we have to address so what happens is if it's 110 outside um, in a lot of cases in your attic it's going to be 165 degrees and so what happens is that 55 degree air um, it's just getting pelted with the heat and so it doesn't actually come out of the registers a lot of times at 55 degrees um, the registers that are closer to the actual air handler it usually will be pretty close to that but the further away you get from the actual mixing box here, um, the warmer the air gets because it's sitting inside of this really hot room. So let's say it comes out at, you know, in the 60s or 70s, whatever. What that ends up meaning is that it takes that much longer for it to mix with the, the warm air that's already in the home to actually cool it back down where the homeowners want it. Um, so a few issues that, that we deal with. All right, so 110 degrees outside, 165 degrees in your attic. The way thermodynamics work, hot always seeks cold. And so when it's 165 in your attic and you're trying to cool your house down to say 80 or 78 degrees, that's a big variance. And so that heat from the attic wants to come inside your home. And so it's gonna look for any kind of penetrations that it can to be able to accomplish that. And so there's just these leaks all over the attic floor. So, um, you know, as an example, um, we'll have leaks around the actual registers themselves. Um, there will be canned lights. They'll have leaks around them. There will be pipe and wire penetrations. And you have to keep in mind that insulation doesn't stop airflow. And so all of these leaks that exist in the attic, it's just pathways for that heat to actually come down inside of the house. And so um, two things happen here. One, it's obviously hot air and you don't want hot air mixing with your your condition there because you've paid for that um, but it's also dirty air this is where you get dust issues um, that affects your air quality obviously that's um, things that people generally want to address so there's leaks in the thermal envelope and so we want to be able to go in and, and address those um, additionally most of the homes here in Arizona um, they were built prior to any actual energy codes and so a lot of times we get up in the attic and we find that the insulation levels um, range, <laughs> believe it or not, there's, there's plenty of attics we get into where there's actually zero insulation. Um, but overall, I would say the average attic that we get into is probably between maybe six and giving them the benefit of the doubt, maybe eight inches of insulation. But really, you know, six inches is probably truly the average insulation in most homes here in Arizona. Um, even homes that aren't that old uh, don't have proper levels of insulation. Insulation, especially cellulose, it will settle over time. Um, fiberglass settles as well. The the bats, they're they're a whole nother beast. Um, we'll have to go over the, all that stuff in another training. But for the purpose of this, just so you understand, insulation levels are low, and so what happens is that radiant heat from outside, you know, that sun's pelting. And that heat, you can't stop it. You can slow it down, which is what your insulation is trying to do. 
but that radiant heat just keeps penetrating until it gets into the home and then that's just another way that you're you're heating your house so that hot air that comes into the home that's called convective heat it's kind of like if you think about a convective oven it uses hot air to heat things so radiant heat is is this invisible um, rays of sunshine you can't really see it but you can sure feel it and that's what's penetrating and your insulation is trying to stop that um, but the the convective heat is where you've just got leaks in your thermal envelope so that's where you know realistically or ideally anyway your attic floor should just be one solid there should be no penetrations they should all be sealed up with um, foam or other air resistant materials you know so that's that's how we go in and we address all these things we we seal them up tight so that you have this constant thermal envelope and then obviously once you've uh once you've got your envelope sealed then you can add your insulation and get that up to the proper proper levels as well and so in arizona you know your insulation levels should be 12 to 15 inches um essentially what you want is an r the code is an R38. Um, we always work for an R44. Uh, we want to be able to, you know, get people over insulated so that even as it settles in time, we can still um, have that proper R value to to help slow down that radiant heat that's coming in. So the other thing that we're dealing with though is this cold air that's being, you know, produced up here. Um, you want all of that to come into the home. You don't want to lose any of that. And because there's no codes that require any anything different, uh, what happens a lot of times is is we find that when we get in the attic and we start doing our inspections, that we're actually losing air back into the attic through leaks in the ductwork, places where it's just never been properly sealed. And so what happens is the homeowner ends up paying more than they need to for power because a lot of that cold air is getting lost to the attic space. And so that can be a real a real sore spot and so by going in and, and properly identifying what's happening we can provide the proper solutions and we can increase comfort and improve air quality um, and we can bring the energy actual uh, consumption down which obviously will help people save money and that's important for them as well so that's a basic explanation of what's going on in the home there are a lot of other things that we do look for and address but these are the what we you know, in, in the industry, um, we just refer to it as the big three. So that's what I'm going to label it here. That's the big three. Those are the big three things that um, are part of the home performance program that really tend to have the biggest impact on, on energy savings, on comfort, efficiency for the home. Um, you know, we'll, we'll get into another training where we'll talk about the windows and some of those other things that can improve the airflow and different things like that but um catch the next clip